Watch this! These are not good cards. Why did I draw that so soon? Um. What a beautiful draw. I really don't want this to get uh, uh, blown out by Omayog, but there are worse things. Uh, we killed the Goblin Bomb because of, like, buffs. Double Nazoth Pally, probably? Uh, yeah. There's been some lists floating around from uh, Bodybuilder and Corb. But that would make sense to me. There's the buffs. Just top deck uh, pocket galaxy and everything's good. It is not a top deck pocket galaxy. Okay. Bronco, thank you for the 11 months. Here's to another month. Thanks for the daily YouTube content. You're very welcome. Thank you for that support. And congrats to Fury Dude for hitting Legend for the first time. It's no easy task because that is not like the Agro Priest was good, but not oppressive. So well done. Is this a 30 legendary deck? Uh, yes. Definitely. I think it's running Galloping Savior uh, to fill the beast slot, but like it's gonna feel really bad to lose my uh, pocket galaxy. I need to draw like a throwaway spell, but I also don't have like cards to support that. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do here other than delay as much as I can. That is not a great draw. I think maybe next turn I just get a Jaina out and that helps me stall. But this is not good hand. This is not what we stood for. Reporting for duty. Jaina is my favorite Death Knight. What do you think about her? I think she is probably a little bit too slow for Wild most of the time. So theoretically, they're a little bit short here. And we do have double Alex Draza in hand. It's just like we missed so many turns in a row because of uh, not drawing our mid game. Well, that buys me some time. It's almost certainly Omayog at this point, right? The future is Behold the tools of creation. It's actually pretty good for next turn, at least. It buys me time. 
The fact that they froze their big boy uh, elemental is probably a good thing for me. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Wait. Thanks? Reporting for duty. Okay. There is absolutely no world in which I am playing that card right now. Alex draws of the Barov? I think that would be pretty wasteful. I might need to Alex draws on my own face for healing, and the opponent is at 17. I could Alex draws of them to make them dead. I feel like it would just be a massive overreaction when I can just stall this. So if they get 10 drop in his off, it's not that bad for me. 9 drop in his off is, uh, is pretty bad for me. But I can freeze things. Maybe. Oh! Oh my god, the elemental. Brutal. That cannot feel good. Okay, it's getting uh, oh my yogged anyway. I've been baited. This doesn't actually pull anything, so it's useless. Magic. Wow, I've gotten baited so hard. Hit by many trucks. Thank you for the sub. What's stronger in your opinion, aggro or tempo? Um, yes. I don't. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> um, I don't think any particular archetype is necessarily stronger than another. Like decks are powerful. Uh, does Zeph clear? Zeph brawl? Um, twist? I feel like twist is probably better here. I don't want to leave an 8-8 on the board, and I have better late game value than the opponent. The problem is, if I give up the Zeph now, I don't have it for the... Um, well, they don't even have good... Um, like, Nazoth minions, right? All they have is Talon. So, let's just, uh... Get this going. It's probably their biggest value turn. Or their biggest board that they're going to have remaining. Isn't that Hidden Wisdom? No, I believe it's Galloping Savior. Next turn, we can get the uh, Ice Block and the Pocket Galaxy down. And then start setting up our burst turns. Or I can just kill that. No, I want to get blocked down. Ready for a show. You're making this easy. Is there trouble? No. Nobody needs help. Go away. Uh, I don't need spells. Just want to throw some damage at the opponent's face. Probably with this. Okay. Uh, 15. I could go here. Face. Like, this is my only opportunity to play the Cloud Prince, right? Because I'm out of secrets. I could also set them to 11. 
I think I want to play the uh, the Cloud Prince though. Or I could Reno. Let's play this first. I think that I think that's what happens here. And then I can reevaluate based on what uh, kind of chaos happens here. Okay, now it would have been much better off. Uh... No, never mind. It's perfect. <laughs> um, I don't know how good Reno is against Warlock, but same thing applies to the Glacial Shard. Like, if it's a uh, if it's Dark Glare, does Reno actually help me? I mean, this whole hand kind of helps me if it's Dark Glare, right? Because I can freeze a uh, giant that comes down early. I'll just keep it. It's good enough, I think. I feel like I should be pretty good into slower Warlocks anyway, so I might as well keep a hand that's good into fast Warlocks. Potion is good for Burst, potentially, because it can get me back the Cloud Prince with the Bran, and I get both of them back. I mean, with only two mana, there can't be that many possibilities. Did not need that card anyway. I think we've got our answer about what type of uh, Warlock we're up, up against. Let's see what we get. I think I'm always pinging here. Kind of feel like I can just hold the Glacial Shard here. Dan Rough Rider Schneider, thank you for the nine months. Yo, we had a baby. Wish you would have told me sooner. Thank you for that support, though. All right. Just going to follow our curve. Probably keep that stealthed for a bit um, so that I can play the Pocket Galaxy on turn six. So I think I just, like, jam a Lothub next turn and then Pocket Galaxy. Because even if I top deck... I could also freeze that. Is that worth? No. So I'm not really doing anything else, so... I just want to protect the uh, the Mana Saber and ensure that I get to the Pocket Galaxy quickly. And then the fact that I have Stargazer... Oh my god. Yep, this is fine. Alright, the fact that I have Stargazer Luna online as soon as I hit the... Um, the Pocket Galaxy is pretty good. No complaints from me. Turtle? I'm gonna go uh, Turtle here without the uh, the Luna because what I can do with the Turtle is one, two, guarantee a Book of Spectres, and then that like supplies me with enough card draw and then I still have the Luna as like a follow-up, so. Jeez. Life and hope are so, uh, value or uh, value, chat? What do you think? I actually think I want damage to close out this game. What a failure I am. Uh, Polly's pretty good. Wow, these dragons are disgusting. As is the Varden. Swaglock of Destiny. Thank you for the four months. Not taking value? Do I even have a value option? I just figured that, like, big demons probably want to get polymorphed. This deck only has value? I would look closer. Because it has an outrageous amount of burst. Something is wrong, Raffalo. You have minions that don't cost one in your hand. True. I should change that. Cryogenics. Thank you for the seven months. Hello to you as well. Well, that's certainly a card. Behold the tools of creation. And the cycle of life is revealed on the tools. 
No, come on! <laughs> oh, what a troll. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. And just avoid overdrawing here, so I play this. Probably fishing for Reno, but that will not be enough. I've got 12 from hand, so as long as something gets to go phase. Also, they're just dead if they don't Reno. So even if they clear this, they're dead. Because I can... Okay. They're also dead. Kind of redundant, but I kind of want to keep both of these. Oh my god, it's another druid. I think I just full mole. I don't play like if it's uh, if it's aggro, I don't play the um, pocket galaxy because I'm trying not to die. If it's celestial, I don't play the pocket galaxy because they do it for me. I see you later, dead fish. It's like pocket galaxy or um, looks like alignment. So I want to get a ten pot off of this. Is this the same list as the Martian one? No, it's very close though. That's where I got the uh, the idea. I uh, subbed out some of the four drops. I think are the changes that I made uh, because I, I brought in the mana saber I will crush your to and I think something else. But the original list was from him. Mana saber is pretty good into alignment. To try even Reno Mage, uh, I'm good. I have in the past. It's uh, it's in this awkward spot where it's worse than regular Reno Mage and worse than regular even Mage. So it's just like I don't know. It doesn't feel fun to me. I think I'd rather get the Gazakas down into a big 10 pot that does a lot of things. Six to all. Um, I want poly all more than I want the uh, deal six. Beautiful. So if we can set an ice block, um, that should give us some time. There's the alignment. But they're overloaded next turn. Oh, it's not Furion. So they're not going to alignment anytime soon, right? What if I just get another ten pot then? Is it Jade? Um, we did see a. Alignment Druid earlier that was running um was running Malfurion. So maybe, but uncertain. At last, Maybe I should have gone with the build a board there. Look at me. Really wish that were a nice block, but. Lotheb or uh, Ice Blocker, kind of important here, right? I 
It could draw into Lothub. Or Ice Block. Now I have this plus uh, Reno as a follow up. Yeah, Ice Block and Lotha both were pretty good. Um, I just needed another turn, is all I was looking for there. Me! <laughs> Okay. Are they Tog? Why are they clearing so much? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Seems like weird timing on that. GG? Why is it GG? Chat. Relax. GG because you get mad? Oh, okay. I just need to stall so that I can get the, the Luna and uh, draw a bunch of cards with the King's Ransom. Or off of the King's Ransom. It's not using mana. I see well, that'll certainly get our uh, Zephyrus online. Colonel Pants, thank you for the 500 bits. YouTube viewer here, thanks again for the amazing content. You're very welcome. Thank you for that support. Ninety-six. Thank you for the six months. Raffle, good evening. What is the nature caring druid trying to break the twig? Why is the nature caring druid? That's a good question. It's a good cloud prince for the opponent. That's going to be a problem. We're gonna have some fun. Behold the tools of creation. I really would have liked to have, uh, like kept the uh, celestial. I should have played the uh, Pocket Galaxy there. You're in my hands now. The way they're drawing through my deck, it makes me think they're going to um, like swap back at some point. But I don't know what that does because I still have a... Uh, I still have like ransom, so I 
I like I can't keep them board locked anyway, so there's no point in holding that. Uh, we can't play the UI with the deck swap, and I don't even know what's in my deck anymore. Alexstrasza maybe. That helps. <laughs> oh god, we've got both UIs. Actually wanted that naturalize. But I don't think it'll matter. That's twelve uh, plus Zeph is another twelve twenty four, and then lethal with the UI. So uh, GG indeed. Uh, always keep the dragon caster. Not, uh, probably want a Lothab against mage as well, right? Mystico, thank you for the prime. Okay, I just want to rip the book of specters so that I can burn the uh, Luna's pocket galaxy and feel great about myself. I'm kidding. I don't want to do that. Does Lothab do anything versus APM other than buying a turn? I mean, feel like you're underestimating the impact of buying a turn. Hmm. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mist. I want to bait out some damage on this. I feel like it's less important with the, um, the fact that I have book in hand. Isn't the point of Lothab to buy a turn? Uh... Often. What to do? What to do? That is not the card I wanted to draw here. I think I just... Oh, I really don't want to rip the book here. But I don't think I have a choice, so... Worked out, but I cannot play that or I overdraw. Do I care? I don't think I care. <laughs> Hey, Blue Snake. I think uh, getting a scientist down before drawing into some of the secrets is much more important than um, the a single card off the top of my deck. I'm not going to make it all the way through my deck anyway. Sure. I would have burned the pocket galaxy anyway. My win condition is just setting a nice block, getting to um, Cloud Princes. I can loath up again next turn. Because I have the uh, potion in hand. Considering Ice Block is in Legacy set, is there a way for Zephyrus to offer Ice Block? Nope. Yeah, the pool for Zeph just hasn't changed. This is like Twitch chat's nightmare scenario. Look at all the cards I'm going to be overdrawing this game. Oof. Okay, so since it's the Waker version, which is what I was hoping, it's likely that the scientist dies and hopefully pulls an ice block.
Beautiful. Hit the ice block. I am good at Hearthstone. The problem is we still need to hit uh, Reno if we get popped here, right? The other Reno, that is. I don't think they have enough cards since we burn the, uh, the Luna. Right? How do they refill here? I think they just lose. Like, I don't even need to Lothab here, right? Eh? It's value, but not going to be enough, right? Uh, they did play double encounter, so they can still certainly kill us. It's just like losing the Luna is huge because that's their main draw engine. That's a really good draw. Uh, not necessarily at this moment, but... Eventually. Alright. The game is easy when you don't care about burning cards, because burning cards is rarely a thing that matters. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Korbach, Noggleshire, NotoriousHS, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.